is Armani, that car addict. Back at you guys with another video in a different location again. Uh, me and Ref Juan have came to Fastlane Cars, uh, Fast, Fastlane's Classic Cars, I should say. They're a dealer and they sell classic cars, as you, as you can see right here. So, yeah, I got my boy Ref Juan with me. Ref Juan, subscribe below. Check this video out. It's going to be crazy. Uh, we right now looking at all the classic cars they got. They got imports, domestics, and a lot of signs and a lot of really just antique stuff. So without further ado, let's get this video started, guys. Check us out downstairs. This is like Cobra heaven right here. Yeah, they're probably biggest specialties, the Cobras. They, they really specialize in all Cobra customizations. They can get you any color Cobra you want with any design. This is the big, this is the big one right here. That's actually a Lamborghini color right Yeah, there. he said this is a Lamborghini color. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how he said it, but it's a new Lamborghini color. And he said he can spec it out to anything he wants. Cause like all this, all the, all the things that would be silver, like on this car, he blacked it out. And yeah. this is crazy. Custom backdraft cover. Like, this is the first thing that caught my eye when I came through here. And it's a manual, which all Cobra should be manual. manual. I like the seats. The seats are pretty cool. Pretty cool. And it's a 427, 427 engine on it. Make sure I don't get no copyright with this music, but <laughs> yeah. So in total, there's freaking nine Cobras in this showroom right now. This is more than i ever seen in my life prior to this. God, this car is so amazing. If I had 86 grand, I would definitely buy this. The reason why this is covered up because it's completely brushed aluminum. I know you probably can't really see it, but it's brushed aluminum and it's covered up so people don't want to touch it. And because if any, they said if any oils touch it or any liquid touches it, it tarnishes it and makes it foggy. It's like wow, that's crazy. And they. This is a car you don't drive. That's why it's 180 grand <laughs> at all. This is one you keep in your garage and just let it sit because you won't be able to drive it in the elements. That's crazy. That's really nice. So this right here is the Yanko, or oh, 2017 Yanko Camaro. I was like, I, I saw these on the internet. I was like, so they're bringing the Yanko back, but they're not. This is like a rare car, obviously, now to this day and age, but they want 109 grand for it. And I'm about to show you guys some of the specs. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like a special Camaro, but it is. First, here you go, you got the old school hot rod wheels you got yanko on the brakes you got yanko on the side of the car like i said before it's 109 grand and then you got the yanko stitching on the seat nothing really decent i mean different on the inside of the car and then you got the yanko pinstripe coming all the way down the car now you got a nice Matt spoiler, I like that. And this is what I wanted to tell you guys about. It's 800 horsepower. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I know I always say crazy in my videos, but this is just 
Wow. Very nice car. But not for the price. That's just me. Now I know all these are like classic Corvettes and old ones. But this one right here really threw me off because it's like a 1950s Corvette, like the first like C1 I guess you could say, and then they put it on a convertible C5. Like, <laughs> what? I am so confused, but it looks good at the same time. Like, this is ridiculous. This car right here, the Pantera, I'm gonna try to say the first name, Detasmo, Detasmo, I'm not sure, but it look, to me it looks like a Ferrari and a Lamborghini mixed together. We made it in 1974 and it won 139 grand for it. This car is nice. Like if I ever get the money to get one, I will. Even though it's old, it looks of this era. And the engines in the back. And then see the intake right there. That's this car is like one of a kind. I mean, I know it's old, but you just gotta appreciate the old cars for the time and era. What you think about this, bro? Man, this is just this is like a candy shop for a little kid. But when you're grown and you love cars, this is too much for me, man. I'm getting, I'm getting. This is I can't say it in the words, but this is the coolest thing I've been <laughs> What'd to. What do you think about the Pantera? Oh, this one right here, I, I could ride, I could ride in this. This is something I like a lot. I like the white look, and I like how it gives it that Lambo feeling. Right. Kind of like it gives it the older. I wouldn't say, you know, a Diablo. I, I would say it looks like a Diablo actually. Yeah. Older Diablo. It looks like a Diablo and a Ferrari at exactly. the same time. It's a, it's a mix, right? right. I know. I like, I like the old Chargers. But this one right here is really unique. I know you can't tell from right now, but wait, watch this. Crocodile skin on the roof. I'm like, what? That's, yeah, this car you wouldn't drive out in the elements either because you can't mess that up <laughs> at all. Like, wow, 1970s Charger. And if you don't have any money to buy a car, you can come through here and buy yourself a Hot Wheels, I guess, or over here, everywhere else. They got model cars and everything. I'll tell you guys what, this, all this right here is where my addiction started of cars. I got one car at age four, and then after that, it went from everywhere else. <laughs> okay, so now that we've been through this building, they actually have four or five other buildings. So we're about to hit those. So see you guys in the next building. So this is the East Showroom of Fast Lane Classic Cars. All these are American cars except this. <laughs> Not the Nissan Skyline GTR. Crazy. I haven't seen one in a while. As, as, as this clean though. Mm -hmm. We see them at the show sometimes, but this is a little different. This is right hand drive. It can be yours for twenty seven five. Twenty seven five. Oh, that's a G. That's a G? No, that's a Willie G. It's freaking dope. I walked in here and I was like, this was the first thing I saw. The Ford Ranchero. This is basically Ford's oh. El Camino. I just realized looking back at the Ranchero, is a whole nitrous bottle in the back. That's crazy. Yeah, the whole nitrous tank. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. This right here is the original GT40. It's crazy. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this is it. This is the beast right here. GT40. Wow. I'm surprised they only won 179 for it, but oh well. It's going to sell. Okay, so now we're going from the GT40 to the Pontiac GTO Judge. This is my first time seeing a, a Judge in a different color other than orange, but it still looks good either way. 
Got the Ram there on the hood. I'll come around this side to show you guys the price for it. 1969 Pioneer GTO Judge. They want 62.9 for it. I mean, that's not bad considering this thing is super clean. But yeah, this is really nice. Okay, like the channel since I'm talking. Since we're talking about the GTO right now, um, I'm gonna try to get a GTO like 2006 with a 6.0 liter engine. I know I'm, I know I don't want to go big with anything since um, this is gonna be my first car on me buying myself. But if anything, it's gonna be a manual, and I'm top things I want to do to it is like cam, intake, uh, headers, probably some pistons. Probably I'm not sure and suspension and probably some wheels um, because I know somebody told me at a different meet that the GTO's suspension like stock suspension like terrible so I'm gonna make sure to change that out the first chance I get when I get my GTO I found this sitting in the corner a Ford Fairlane I never seen one I mean obviously I wouldn't see one because this is basically I don't know when it was made but I feel it was like made in the 60s or 50s it's really nice. First time you see seeing one, the interior matches the outside of the car. It's really nice. I like the white on it. It's very nice. You, you guys see that little silver thing on the inside of the um, steering wheel? That was the horn back then. That's how they used the horns for the cars. This car is really nice. I like the white walls on the wheels. And I like how the, the uh, color on the wheels match the paint of the car. That's nice. That's crazy. How'd it feel? How does it feel? It feels nice, man. Got a hidden stereo system in it, too. You can see it's kind of got the boxes up underneath. Wow. Oh, okay. wow. Everything's different by the car. You said it's retractable, so that's what's all right here. It's a hard top comes out. So it says that flips up and the top yeah, comes out yeah, all the way over. Good. So and that's not a trunk, that's a retractable roof. <laughs> all right, now this right here, this is your hot rods. You, you may see some of these nowadays, but uh, it's kind of rare. I mean, I always see them in car shows and stuff. So it's pretty nice when they see them. There's always something different. There's always a showstopper. You always see people around this faster than a Lamborghini sometimes, if it's very unique. But I like the black and white stitching on the inside. And it's a manual. I mean, you can't really tell what the gears are, but it's pretty cool. I mean, if I had one, you know, everybody else says LS swap the world. I mean, I would LS swap this thing, <laughs> to be honest. Put a uh, 427 LSX block on it and, and drag ride it. Drag racing, it's crazy. Man, y'all didn't come here to see this. This. The Chevrolet Nova. I want one of these so bad. Like, this is like the one of the only older American cars that I would want. I want 39, well, basically 40 grand for it. Like, with mine, I just give y'all a basic idea of what I want to do with mine. Basically put a uh, LSX 427 big block in it. I don't know if I want to make it like a straight race car, but I'll just make it like a street car. I don't know if I want to twin turbo it or supercharge it or single turbo it, but I'll figure it out when I get around to it. And most definitely, y'all see that on the channel, and I'll be working on it.
guys can probably tell, I am not holding the phone. I'm, I finally got a tripod. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do from now on. I'm still trying to get some money up for a camera, but it's kind of hard nowadays. But when you come to fast lane cars, you see this one as at the second building, a car spinning on a platform. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. We got more content coming this winter because I just finally got off for school. So I don't go back to school until like the 22nd of January. And today is December 13th. So basically I have a whole month off of school. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs>